I am Habitor Owen on our Extra Math Challenge. And our Extra Math Challenge is all about Grade 9 Lessons in Quarter 3, Module 8. And it is all about solving problems involving triangles. So we have here an example of a isosceles triangle or isosceles right triangle. So it is an isosceles right triangle since both legs are congruent and both angles are 45 degrees and we have 45 45 90 triangle theorem that will help us solve our problem or to solve the value of this side or the value of x okay so the theorem states that the hypotenuse or the longest side or this side is square root of 2 okay so we're going to equate it to square root of 2 times the shorter length. So our shorter length is 5. So times 5. Okay. So x is equal to square root of 2 times 5 is equal to x is equal to 5 square root of 2. So we... Our answer, our the, the value of x is equal to 5 square root of 2. And to prove our answer, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. c squared. Okay? So, our a squared is or our a the value of our a is 5 and since the legs are congruent this leg is also 5 so our b is also I mean is also 5 squared okay c squared is equal to so 5 times 5 or 5 squared is equal to 25 plus 5 times 5 or 5 squared is equal to 25. And c squared is equal to 50. So c is equal to square root of 50, which will give us c is equal to 5 square root 2. So we have proved our answer that it is correct. Okay, so how about this problem? So the triangle is like this. So we have a right triangle and it is given that this angle is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, this angle is equal to 30 degrees. And it is also given that this side is equal to 11 square root of 3. And the shorter side is equal to x. So this is our shorter side. Since it is the op it is the opposite of the angle 30 degrees. Okay. So we have a 30 60 90 triangle theorem. Okay. So this theorem will also help us to solve our problem. So our problem is to find the area of this triangle, okay? So this theorem states that the length 
of the hypotenuse is two times um, two times the length of the shorter leg. Okay, so our hypotenuse is this side. Okay, so since it is said that the hypotenuse is two times the length of the short leg, which is this side or this leg, so we will write or this side is equal to 2x. And the length of the longer leg, square root of 3, square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. So we are going to equate it to square root of 3. Since it said that the length of the longer leg is square root of 3, times the length of the shorter leg, which is this side or this leg. Okay, So we're going to solve the x or the value of this side. Okay, So 11 square root of 3 is equal to square root of 3 times Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by square root of 3. It will give us to x is equal to 11. So we have the value of x. Now we're going to substitute the value of x to these sides. Okay? So this side now is equal to 11. And this side now is equal to 22 since it is 2x or 2 times 11. Okay. Now, to find the area, we have this um, formula. 1 half AB. Okay. So suppose our A is 11. And our B is 11, okay, 11 square root of 3. So 11 times 11 square root of 3 is equal to 121 square root of 3 times 1 half. So 121 square root of 3 times 1 half is equal to 1, 21 square root of 3 over 2. So, 121 square root of 3 over 2 is the area of this triangle. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope you like this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.